This is a simplified tutorial on artificial intelligence, creating a s certain number of scripts that make it seem like the creature is acting intelligently. So, this is it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I have my spore creature here, and it looks like my hand was close enough to where he already found me. I'm going to get him a little confused here. Now he's kind of wondering who I am with that question mark there. And I could lose him if I go fast enough. Okay, so he's searching again by himself. This time, let's have him follow me there to these hearts. Pick these up. Come on. Now when he gets close to me, it's different. Now he loves me because he ate all the hearts. And so I'm going to lose him again. He likes me now, but I'm going to hit the space bar. He doesn't really like that. Now he hit me. Now let's see what happens when he gets close to me. Okay, he's shooting. He's shooting at me. He got me. You're probably also wondering how I got my spore creature inside my game, but I'll save that for another time. Let's take a look at what's happening with this AI of this spore creature. All I do is I have a, a couple of events here. In the create event, the most important thing to do is set some variables. I have a variable called he is mad, and it's set to zero. Um, hence, when I hit the space bar, he is mad is set to one, which means he's now mad at me. I create a variable called facing, and I set that to a random of 360 to start, and then I have a speed of motion. So what happens is, is when I start the program, he faces in a random direction, and then he goes in that direction of which he is facing, and I set the speed to 2. Let's go to this step event. The first thing you want in the step event is the transform the sprite, and that can be found under control, wait a second, <laughs> main one, and transform the sprite. And I think you might have to have the registered version in order to have this command, but I'm not 100% sure. And I transform the sprite in the angle of facing. So he'll look whatever direction that uh, I have. So it's important to know that it won't work correctly unless the sprite graphic is facing to the right. Now, to get him to walk, uh, randomly in certain directions. It also gives the appearance in that he's lost me when I get a certain distance fr away from him. So with a chance out of 1 out of 100 found in the control tab, right here the dice, set the variable facing, which was my created variable, to a random 360 and set the direction and the speed that I'm facing according to what speed you want. And this will, so there's a chance that he'll change directions and he'll lose, in, it'll look like he loses interest in me as he's following me. Now, this command uh, dictates whether if I'm close enough that he'll follow me. If distance underscore to underscore object is object zero, so if distance to my hand is smaller than 250, then set the variable facing to, this command is, is a little bit different, point underscore direction x comma y comma object zero dot x object zero dot y. So in other words, he will face in the, where, in the direction that I am on the, the game screen and then set the direction and speed of motion to facing. So he'll follow after me if he distance is smaller than 250. Now there is a chance, given that he's mad at me, that he will attack me. And I put that within this command. I like using these brackets to keep everything contained. Now, using a similar coding to what is above, if distance to object, my hand is smaller than 45, so he's getting closer to me, Instead of going after me, I'm going to set facing to a speed of zero. So he's going to look at me, but his speed is going to be zero. And then with uh, image speed, I'm going to set to zero. 
and that way when he stopped the animation is, isn't keep playing and the animation is stopped and that is done through image underscore speed variable so this gives the appearance as you see it's it's not much but it, it does fool the player into thinking that this creature has some intelligence and I added a little bit of extra stuff in here that you can look at as when I got close enough to him as long as he wasn't mad at me that he wondered who I was and then after feeding him the hearts if there wasn't any more if the instance of hearts were equal to zero then he instead of creating the question mark it created the heart and uh, this even though this code is kinda simple I've used it in various fun projects that I've made before and it, it's worked quite well so if you want to take a look at any more, just download it from this tutorial and the graphics from roencia.com under the document section. And I hope this will help you in your games.